Hi everyone. Um, gonna be spending the next thirty minutes just um, praying for marriages. Uh, join me wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's now seven o four p.m. Central Standard Time. We're just gonna be agreeing and praying concerning marriages. I'm going to go ahead and post uh, once I finish. I probably I'll post the credits for the music the background music playing i will add it i didn't get around to doing that earlier on i'll go ahead and add that once i'm done um feel free to invite as many people as you married married couples as you can uh, the husband the wife both couples anyone you can I'm just going to spend uh, probably 25 30 minutes there about just praying for marriages um, and, um, I'll share a bit in terms of praying for marriage we're going to be focusing on praying for those who are newly married those who have been um, those who are married and in ministry by that I mean either the husband is in ministry or the husband and wife are both in ministry as in some form of um, Christian religious leadership role um, so we're going to focus praying for those set of people we're going to pray for uh, marriages who are probably on the brink of divorce. They're, it's just uh, they base whatever stage they are in. They're probably living separately. We're going to pray for those couples. If one person still wants that marriage to work, or, or, or both parties still want it to work but don't know what to do, so we're going to be standing in agreement and praying for such couples. We're going to be praying for couples who've been married for more than 20 years or more. We're going to focus prayers on those set of couples as well. And uh, we're going to also pray for couples who are struggling with direction in their marriage. Uh, the, it's like they're married but don't know what to do. Just keep just keep hit, hitting a brick wall um, constantly confusion quarrels not knowing how to go about doing things we are just gonna stand in agreement with such couples as well tonight okay um, what else and as I mentioned I'm gonna um, post a background credit regarding the music that is playing and now might as well just go ahead and mention um, the background soundtrack. We have um, John Wheeler, The Marriage Prayer with lyrics. That's one of the songs. This one currently playing is called I Choose You, The Wedding Song by Ryan um, Darling, the original. And then there's also Take My Hand, The Wedding Song. And then Hill Songs, God is Able, It's a Wedding Song. And then a song called Chris August. The title is Restore. Um, we're gonna that will also probably play while we're praying, okay? Now, irrespective, I'll just share a few nuggets and then I'll get into, get into prayers, irrespective of um, whatever stage your, your marriage is in, irrespective of however long you've been married. The reality is that, um, because marriage is of God, marriage the concept or the notion of marriage began with God. And therefore, uh, when we talk about marriage, uh, what you put into it is what you get out of it. What you put in, uh, uh, there's no magic formula to it. What you put into it is what you get out of it. There are the physical things you have to do concerning your marriage. There's also the, the spiritual dynamics um, regarding marriage. And, and that's where we, we come in, just to support one another in the place of prayer praying for each other's marriages and um, just offer, offering strength and comfort through prayer uh, for marriages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started shortly. And feel free to invite other people to join in. Um, feel free to do that. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and still add the credits for... Uh, the soundtracks that are playing relating to is relationship related songs that I just 
created uh, off of um, I created a playlist off of um, uh, YouTube, and I will add the credits afterwards. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Mm -hmm. I never really know We worship you. The one who began marriage, we worship you. We honor you. All marriages is in your hands. All homes are in your hands. You know the beginning of every marriage law. You know the ending of every marriage. We bring them before you, Lord. We bring them before you, Lord. Remember them. Remember the newlyweds, O oh Lord. Remember, remember those who've been married for a long time. Remember them, most high God. Remember them. Remember, remember the marriage is on the brink of divorce. Remember them. Remember every marriage that's currently struggling. Remember them. Holy One, remember them. Remember them. Remember them. Keeper of Zion, remember marriages. We bring them before you. We stand in agreement, mighty God, that you are. Remember the marriages wherever they are. Remember the pastors and leaders who are married. Remember their marriages. Most high God, remember them as well. Remember them as well. Remember their marriages as well. Most high God, that's who you are. Remember them. Hmm. And as you remember them, let your mighty hand go ahead on their behalf, O oh Lord. Move on behalf of, O oh Lord, the young marriages. Move on behalf of the seasoned marriages. We speak life. Hmm. We speak life into every marriage, O oh Lord, those that we know, those that we do not know. We speak your grace, we speak your mercy into marriages, O oh Lord, that are on the brink of divorce right now. We lift them before your throne of grace. And Father, we ask that you would remember them. And as you remember, O oh Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that the oil of gladness will flow of the homes and this marriages, Father, in the name of Jesus we join our faith together right now as we lift them up before your throne room, Father. There is nothing too difficult for you to do, O oh Lord. You're the one, O oh Lord, who made a way for a man to meet a woman. And you're the one, O oh Lord, who began the institution of marriage. And so we bring all this marriage. We bring those who are newly married before you this day. Father, Lord, for whatever reason they have chosen to get married, Father, Lord, you know. And so we join our faith together with theirs right now. And we pray that you will bring direction to the marriages, to the newly wedded couples, oh God. We pray, God, that their marriages will last, that their marriage will endure the trying times, Father, that they will get to know one another beyond the superficiality of facial love, Lord. We ask in agreement, oh Lord, that you will grow, begin to grow as many as are proposed in their minds to get married. We join our faith 
get it with this, whether they are Christians or non-Christian, because marriage is of you, Father God. We ask, oh God, that you will breed afresh upon as many young couples, oh God, breed afresh upon as many young marriages as they are out there, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray there will be no distractions, oh Lord, from the in-laws. There will be no distractions from friends in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh Lord, in agreement that there will be no undue influence, oh Lord, by other parties into such marriages right now. We pray, God, irrespective of the financial standing of the husband or the wife, we pray, Lord, that you will help one them, the man and the woman, to see each other as one, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that there will not be bullies of one another, oh Lord. We pray, God, that you will heal from every scar of the past. You will heal the man, the husband, and the wife from every scar of their past, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that you will help them to grow as one. You will help them to see each other as one. Lord, we lift up, oh God, as many husbands as are in ministry, as many wives that are in ministry, oh Lord. We pray that you will help them to see each other, God, to honor each other in love, to grow together as one. We pray that the stereotypes, oh God, they will not be superficial in their relating to one another. They will not, Lord, oh God, ministry on over one another, oh Lord, but they will be there. There will be a help meet for one another, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We confront whatever, oh God, false expectation, any false standard that has been set for couples that are in ministry. We confront it by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. We pull down those thoughts that say that because you are the head, therefore you will not submit to one another. We bypass the counsel and the enchantments of the enemy and we bring such to nothing now in the name of Jesus. We choose the husbands will love their wives we choose that wives will submit to the to their husband we choose that they will be res they will submit one to another we stand in agreement for respect in marriage we stand in agreement for honor in marriage father will lift up oh god those who are contemplating divorce right now in the body of christ as many believing couples that are contemplating divorce will bring them before your throne of grace we ask father that you will remove the scale from off of the eyes of the man you will remove the scales from off of the eyes of that woman in the name of jesus we ask oh god that you will rekindle their love for one another we ask oh god in your mercy you will help them to recover you will help them to be restored lord in the name of jesus we pray for those couples oh god who have been married oh god for over 20 years and beyond father we lift up oh god as many couples oh god that the children have left the house oh god we ask you you will help them oh god to discover one another afraid we pray that such couples will not see each other as strangers my god we pray that you will help them oh lord to see each other as one father we ask oh lord that you will help such marriages oh god that they will not be strangers to one another those that have grown apart oh god those that have built their lives around the children and do not know themselves husbands that do not know their wives anymore wives that do not recognize their husbands anymore because their lives were engaged in their career were so consumed by their children father lord we stand in agreement we ask oh lord that thou oh lord who quickens the dead and calls the things that be not as though they are will begin to speak fresh life back into such marriages now in the name of jesus we join our faith with as many as are praying for such marriages we join our faith together with such now and we pray for healing virtue to flow over such marriages in the name of Jesus. We pray for your grace, O oh Lord, to be released and poured out over such marriages, mighty God that you are, in the name of Jesus. We pray that they will recover themselves. We pray, God, that they will find themselves in the name of Jesus. We lift up that husband that has turned the wife into a punching bag. We lift up that man that is, is abusing his wife. We lift up that husband that is abusive towards the wife. We lift up that wife that is abusive towards her husband, emotionally and physically. Lord, we pray for divine intervention. We pray if there is need for any one of the parties, oh God, to move on 
We ask for your mercy that none of them, none of them will die. None of them, oh God, none of them will be subjected to continuous brutality in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh Lord, divinely that you will intervene. And if, oh God, any one of those parties is rejecting, oh God, your intervention or rejecting, oh God, even counseling that is required. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, intervene that none of those parties will die before their time. The husband will not die before his time. The wife will not die before her time. In the name of Jesus, we pray for your grace. We begin to speak direction back into marriages. We lift up as many marriages, O oh Lord, that are struggling in the area of their finances. Spirit of the living God, we ask you, O oh Lord, by the power of agreement right now, we ask, O oh Lord, that you will intervene in this marriage, intervene in the finances of the marriage, O oh God. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will help, O oh God, that man that he will not lord it over the wife that is unemployed. We pray that you will help. Oh God, the wife, oh God, that is employed, that she will not lord it over the husband who is unemployed. We pray, God, that you will work things out on their behalf, Father. We pray that the pressure of finances and the pressure of life will not overwhelm these marriages in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will rekindle back joy. You will rekindle back hope into such marriage, into marriages in the name of Jesus. We speak fresh life, we speak grace back into marriages in the name of Jesus. Particularly, we lift up, oh God, marriages of Christians before you. We lift up, oh God, marriages of believers before you. We lift up marriages, oh God, that have chosen to trust you. Marriages that have chosen to seek your counsel. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will direct them to where they will get the right counsel in the name of Jesus. We pray for clarity. Hope be restored in marriages now in the name of Jesus. We speak encouragement into the heart of the husband. We break the hold of fear. We break the hold of anxiety and worry in the name of Jesus. We break the hold of selfishness in any marriage. We break the hold of selfishness, self-centeredness in any marriage, Lord. Lord, that you will help the husband to see the wife as he ought to see her. That you will help that wife to see the husband as she ought to see her husband, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, for the comfort of the Holy Ghost upon the marriage. We pray, O oh God, that the children will begin to see the parents in the right light. We pray, God, that the image that the husband and the wife will portray to their offspring, O oh God, we ask, O oh God, that it will be one that is godly. It will be one that is not abusive towards the children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for healing, O oh God, upon the emotion of the wife, healing upon the emotion of the husband in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for those, O oh Lord, in the first or second marriage or even their third marriage, O oh God. We pray that you will help them, O oh God, to not be afraid, that you will make it work, O oh Lord, for this one's in the name of Jesus. We lift up as many blended families as they are, Lord. We pray, God, that in spite of the fact that they are blended, oh God, by reason of the anointing, by reason of the move of the Holy Ghost, we speak unity. We speak oneness into the home, oneness back into that marriage. In the name of Jesus, we speak peace into the marriages now. In the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh God, for your wisdom. We ask, O oh God, for your know-how. We ask, O oh God, for divine intervention, the grace that they need to stand, the grace that they need to overcome. In the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh God, that the husband will not bully the wife with his spirituality, neither will any wife bully the husband with her spirituality, Lord. In the name of Jesus, but they will sit one another as joint heirs of the grace of life and so we're comfort that the grace of life let life be released abundance of life abundance of life upon such upon the marriage as many marriages oh god and i watch in this session as many marriages oh lord that would come to watch this session father we ask oh god that the power that rose up jesus from the dead it will quicken such marriages in the name of Jesus, we begin to speak fresh comfort upon homes, fresh comfort upon marriages, the comfort 
of the Holy Ghost upon marriages now. In the name of Jesus, we release the grace that is required. We release wisdom. Let your wisdom, O oh Lord, be released into marriages, O oh God. We speak direction, O oh God, as marriages are going into 2018. We join our faith with as many marriage, O oh Lord, as are depending on you, as are trusting in you for direction, as are trusting in you, O oh God, to make a way for them, Father God. Lord, O oh Lord, we pray that you will make a way for as many marriage oh God, as dare to believe you, O oh God, as the author and finisher of their faith, as many marriages, O oh Lord, as will dare to put their trust and dependence on you. Father, by your spirit, we ask that you will move over such marriages and that you will bring comfort to such marriages in the name of Jesus. Your word says that the cost costless shall not alight. So every negative word that has been spoken by the husband or by the wife or by external parties against any marriages, oh God, against any believing marriages, we speak the blood, we nullify such causes, we nullify such enchantment, oh Lord, by raising up your word. For your word indeed is the one that is quick and it is powerful. And so we release your word. We speak a life into marriages. We nullify causes. We nullify hexes that has been spoken against any marriage, any believing marriage. This day in the name of Jesus. Lord, it is your word that one indeed does put a thousand to flight. And two will put tens of thousands to flight. And so in the name of Jesus, we'll cause a quickening of the corporate anointing over the marriage. The anointing and the grace that you have made available to every marriage, Lord. We ask that such marriages, this marriages, they will discover, oh Lord, the power of unity. And they will walk in harmony. They will walk in restored unity. We release the word of restoration back into to marriages right now in the name of Jesus, we speak to marriages be restored be reconciled be restored be reconciled in the name of jesus will come for the quickening of the holy ghost upon your marriage will come for redemption life upon your marriage faithful is he that began faithful is he that will do it in the name of Jesus so your marriage will not be aborted your marriage will not suffer calamity but your marriage will go from strength to strength the presence of the Lord will avail over your marriage the peace of the Lord will avail over your marriage the comfort of the Holy Ghost will come back be restored back into your marriage in the name of Jesus your home will be built your home will be established your marriage will go forth from grace to grace from strength to strength receive fresh unction in your marriage in the name of you will come for the quickening of the holy ghost upon every believing marriage right now in the name of you we declare that the foundation of such marriage of this marriage is is solid in the name of jesus no more no more shaky ground we declare that any husband that needs counsel we receive counsel father you will direct and order the step of husband to where they will get counsel, sound counsel, in the name of Jesus. Any wife or any husband that is in wrong association that has joined themselves to unfruitful, unproductive association of friends, in the name of Jesus, we cause a barrier, we cause a demarcation now by the power that is in the Holy Ghost. We join our prayers with the prayer of the husband, the prayer of the believing husband. We join our prayers with the prayers of the believing wife right now, that your marriage will be a Established. your marriage will be fruitful your marriage will prosper you will prosper you will both prosper in your soul your marriage receives good health liveliness liveliness comes upon your marriage in the name of jesus the presence of the lord healing comes upon the marriage is there any husband that is sick we join our faith together with the faith of the wife and we pronounce healing upon such a husband any form of disease any form of sickness we release healing virtue to flow over that husband now in the name of jesus 
Is there any wife that is sickly, any form of sickness? We join our faith together with the faith of the husband right now, and we speak healing virtue to flow over such a wife now in the name of Jesus. We'll break the hold of depression. We'll break the hold of depression and weariness. We'll break the hold of discouragement. We release the word of encouragement back into your marriage. We speak encouragement back into your home in the name of Jesus. You will not die. Your marriage will not collapse your marriage will stand your marriage will try your marriage will be vibrant in the name of jesus the presence of the lord the supernatural presence of the lord the peace of the lord we speak by peace to every aching marriage we speak by comfort to every discouraged marriage in the name of jesus hey husbands begin to discover your wife anew wives begin to discover your husband anew Freshness comes back into the marriages now. Romance comes back into the marriage. Friendship comes back into marriages now. In the name of Jesus, hey, understanding, we speak understanding. Back into marriages now. In the name of Jesus, we we'll confront the strongholds, whatever they are called, whatever, wherever they are from. Hey, they will not stand against your marriage. They will not stand against your home. The peace of the Lord that passes all understanding will keep your marriage in the name of Jesus. Your marriage, haha, <laughs> you and your husband, you and your wife, you become friends again. We speak for the rekindling of friendship in the name of Jesus. Let every veil, let every shackle, let every heaviness that has blocked you all, that has blocked any marriage from receiving grace, that has blocked any marriage from prospering, from standing, from going from strength to strength. We break its hold now and we speak by the power that rose Jesus from the dead. The freshness, the freshness of life that is in Christ Jesus comes upon your marriage even now, comes upon your home, comes upon such a marriage now. Our Father and our God, we are thankful to you because you are faithful that has promised you are faithful that began the good work in every marriage. We trust you, O oh Lord, to keep all our marriages. We trust you, O oh Lord, to quicken our marriage. We trust you, O oh Lord, to help us as husbands to honor our wives, O oh Lord, to be there for our families. We trust you, O oh God, as God. <clears throat> we trust you as a helper of the helpless, that you will help every single wife to be, O oh God, all that she can be. That no wife, O oh God, will be worn out, will be depressed, O oh God will faint as many wives as are discouraged, as many wives, oh God, who have been battered, oh God, who have been abused. We ask, oh Lord, by, by your grace, we ask, oh Lord, by the comfort of the Holy Ghost, let that marriage enter into a new season. Let such a marriage enter into a new chapter in the name of Jesus. Let the quickening of the Holy Ghost be available to this marriage, to such marriages, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we join our faith with every married that is watching. Every newly married couple will trust you that the newly married couples will be established. They will go from strength to strength. We well, thank you again for as many couples that are in ministry, that, Lord, you will show yourself strong and mighty on their behalf, that they will not use ministry, oh, God, as and as an excuse, O oh God, to be a husband, to be a wife to one another. We ask you, O oh Lord, we just thank you for those couples that you have restored. We thank you, O oh Lord, for restoration. For there is no there is no darkness, O oh Lord, that is too dark that your light cannot shine through. And so we speak your word to every marriage, every marriage, O oh God, of believers, every marriage that one party dares to trust you to re recover or restore the marriage. We join our faith that, Father, by your ministry and angels, you will move on behalf of such marriages. We trust you for that, and we thank you. We ask, O oh God, that marriages will begin to discover themselves anew. We ask, O oh God, that you will turn around the mind of the husband back to the mind of the wife. We ask that you will turn around the mind of the wife back to the husband. We ask that you will help each, the husband and the wife, to see each other in better light as you, have, as you do see us.
that you will help, oh God. Help, oh God. We just trust you for this. And we thank you, oh Lord, for every marriage, oh God, in this season. We pray your supernatural protection over our marriages, over our homes. We pray your provision. We pray your intervention in every area. Those that we have prayed about, those that we have not prayed about, those that your people have believed you concerning, as many as are believing you, oh God, to do something, whatever they have believed you for, we join our faith concerning their marriage, according to your word. Life of God flow now, even over the marriages. We thank you, oh God, for healing in marriages. We thank you for your mercy. We give you all the glory, mighty God, that you are. Hallelujah to your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. We bless you for this session. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank everyone that has joined in uh, for this session of prayer. Uh, today's session was praying for marriages. And uh, I really thank you for taking out of your busy day to join me. And just we just do 20 to 30 minutes just praying different topics Monday through Saturday. I believe tomorrow we shall be focusing on praying for, just checking it out here. Uh, da, 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 da. Amen. Amen. It's actually there on Facebook Live. I don't see exactly where it is, but tomorrow we're going to focus. Uh, we, we will be praying just as we're praying today. It's either going to be 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, or it's going to be at um, 7 p.m. to 7.30 Central Standard Time. Um, and it's, I basically just spent 30 minutes just praying on uh, the issues that have been um, highlighted on my Facebook Live page. Uh, join me if you can, uh, just praying. And it's also a way of growing in your prayer life as well. So just as we pray for 30 minutes, you might not be used to praying for 10 minutes, but just join me in prayer along wherever you are. Tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, yes, we'll be praying for the um, the church, the global church and ministry leader, those who are in ministry leader, who are ministry leaders. So basically tomorrow we'll be praying for the church. Um, uh, and by church, I'm not talking of any specific denomination, but the body of Christ generally will be praying for the global body of Christ. And we'll also be praying for those who are pastoral leaders, apostolic leaders, uh, teachers, evangelists, or prophets. We'll just be spending time praying for them. It's either going to be 6 p.m. Um, to Central Time tomorrow, or it's going to be at 7 p.m. to 7.30, one of the two. Um, I'll try and post something. And, and, and thank you again for joining me, and stay blessed. Enjoy your week. Have a blessed week. Uh, and uh, remember, what you put into your marriage is what you get out of it. Uh, so you sow in prayers into your marriage. You sow, we sow with our attitude into our marriage. We sow without just taking time. We, we should not take each other for granted. Don't take your wife for granted. Don't take your husband for granted. I, I know that we, we give each other a hard time uh, many times, not just sometimes, but just, you know, I'm not saying overlook those things, but just see, just choose, choose to, to speak a life, choose to speak what you a believing God to see concerning your marriage. And if there is need for counseling, find a way. You both go for counseling. Do whatever it will take. Remember, what you put into your marriage is what you get out of it. And uh, next, if you want to, uh, when it comes to praying for marriages, every join me every Monday. If there's a reason where I won't be on Facebook Live, I'll let you know ahead of time. But every Monday for just 30 minutes, we're going to be praying concerning marriages. Every Saturday, we'll be praying for our children, um, uh, the next generation, basically. Uh, God bless. You can see the details on my Facebook Live page. And thank you for hanging out with me in this prayer session. And um, I normally, I probably would do five, to, five minutes of short exhortation or teaching regarding praying about whatever I'm going to be praying about. Um, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll let us know before, ahead of time. Again, thank you. Uh, and I, I want to respect your time. I generally I'm still
and all the best stay blessed and bye and um, um, you can feel free to share this with other people who you feel it's going to bless. Please do share so that other people could see the session and be blessed by it and probably pray along as well. Feel free to share it once it's live, uh, once it um, it's posted on Facebook Live again. Uh, thank you again for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. I'm not going to call anyone's name. I uh, just want to respect your privacy. I thank as many as have joined in from Dallas and any part of the United States. I thank you all those who have joined in from the UK, United Kingdom, thank you. And for any country in Africa that have joined in, I, I appreciate you as well. Um, thank you so much. Um, all the best. You have a great rest of your day or evening, whatever time you're in, wherever you are. God bless. Bye.